Well, hey, Gundam Maniacs, welcome to another episode of Gundam Explained. Now, this episode's really cool because when the mobile game UC Engage came out in Japan, what, a year or two ago, I was like, man, this is the perfect thing to come out in the US. And it didn't. And so I was downloading the Japanese version to try to play that, but with, you know how it is with mobile games and all their little systems, so you have to like read what you're clicking on to go where? Yeah, that was really hard to do. But it is out and it is in English and it is awesome, kind of. We'll get to that. So yeah, let's get to it. But before we get started, if you haven't, please subscribe. If you think it's a cool video, give it a like. Check the links in the description for ways you can support the channel, but also check out our Discord. We have a lot of fun there. But let's get started. All right, when did you know it? My uh, kind of starting unit I've been using here is a Pale Rider Space Type. Um, okay, so here's the thing with this mobile game. This is kind of the typical mobile game that is not like a gamer's game. It's more of a pastime or something for someone that just does mobile gaming. You know, it plays like that Star Wars Galaxies. Uh, I think there's a Transformers game like this. There's, um, there's, I'm sure there's others I just don't play them. It's where you're not really actually moving the characters around. You're just collecting units, building up armies, watching them battle. Every once in a while, you'll press a button to do a special, but it's, it's really passive. And what it then involves is a lot of systems, a lot of clicking in, upgrading, add this, add that. Maybe sometimes you're going through the menus more than the game itself, but really let's look at this because what I think is cool about this is this is a way for anyone or even anyone that's not a fan or people that are new fans to get into um, the story. And I think Universal Century is an awesome story to get into. Okay, so if I was on my screen here and it even tells me if I need help to uh, tap Haro, you see Anime Girl, they do that here. It's the Anime Girl thing. In fact, the first thing you do in this game is choose which anime girl you want to look at the most. It's it's interesting um, because that, I wish it was just characters from uh, Gundam that you could uh, set up to kind of be your guide as you go, but you don't need them there. Um, I like how we're seeing these different timelines here, and right now the only one unlocked is uh, 0078 to 82. And I want to say like her name is, is something like Air Storage. <laughs> I'm not joking. These characters have some odd names, but isn't that Gundam in general? All right, Gundam Rising. The cool thing about this game is seeing the animations. Not only do they have classic animations all throughout that kind of heighten the production value, but there's brand new animations, some done in the style of what it's supposed to be from. So let's see. It's telling me I've completed the, t the, the one. So you see that it's a movie and then there's the actual battle I guess I got three stars from it was like the first fight. And now there's a movie to watch. Okay, let's look at this. Um, okay, so and I guess what it's really doing, again, and I think it's really cool, is it's kind of setting the stage of what is this story? You know, what are the main beats of the original Gundam? All right, and just from completing that, it opens up this origin episode. Oh, and I love it. Love seeing that animation. Like, this kind of pulls me in to just tap around on my screen. Okay, again, they had me watch a movie that's, like, interesting that it's, like, required. You could skip it, but it's set up, I guess, for people to, to really get them into the story. That's the strongest part of Gundam. That's going to be the strongest part of this game, because it's not going to be the gameplay. Okay, I really don't know what to do here, except maybe click Squad Select. Must be player rank 5 or higher to use another player's mobile suit. Okay, well, I don't need to use another player's mobile suit for now. I just need to figure out what I'm doing. About the skip deployment function, set the skip deployment function to on and the battle will begin as soon as you sortie. Oh, that's, I can see myself do that. All right, so here we go. I have, um, I've made my own custom squad just from the beginner stuff I got. I got, you know, this Pale Rider space. I got that, uh, the ZP, the ZP, Engage Zero, um, the uh, GM, and then RX-78 too. And it allows you to add a pilot. So for instance, on the Pale Rider, you can click in, choose a pilot. I'm choosing Amuro. I think it's pretty badass. Amuro Ray piloting a space type pale rider. All right, let's uh, quest sortie. Fun fact, first time I heard the word sortie was because of Gundam. All right, so you're given this screen before begin battle. And again, I think a lot of these things are just there for making you feel like you're doing something. I haven't yet played enough to feel like I'm Again, actually doing so, I just moved them there. I'm gonna hit begin battle. Okay, so this is what looks cool to me. 
Like, I love the way this looks because they didn't have to have the graphics look like this. There's different camera types you could choose from, and I think, depending on, yeah, there we go. Look at that. This is where the game shines, especially for fans of Gundam. Okay, I already won. It's just, like with, for instance, the Star Wars Galaxies had very low res, undetailed characters that you're just looking at isometrically. This allows you to move the camera around, focus on specific mobile suits. And I, I think it lends to it being an overall Gundam experience uh, on a mobile phone. And that, again, that's why I'm liking it. And did you notice I really didn't do anything? I was just talking about the camera, yet I won, got three stars. All right, we see where I rank up. New productions, okay, to era select screen. All right, and that has unlocked the others. You know, just for fun, let's uh, actually, let me see what's here. Yeah, that's right, I actually, I forgot. I got the unicorn early on too. Let's just look at this. I don't know if it lets me actually play a mission. Well, have me watch something. Here we go. Battle reunion. I'm assuming it's Amaro and Char fighting. Okay, I'm going to try something real quick because I did get that unicorn. It's not showing up here. And I don't know if that's because I have to, like, buy it somehow or unlock it or move it or, you know, how it is with these games. Okay, so I added a mobile suit to the f formation. And I can add more, too. So, that, I mean, that's pretty cool. Once... It's like, what's my favorite mobile suit? I don't know, here's here's six that I like. That's a good way to do it. All right, quest sortie, now that I've got the formation. Okay, here we go, where again, I would, there's even an auto deployment bl a button there, so it's, it, it really, this game does a lot to automate most of it for you, especially if you really just wanna collect mobile suits and look at them. But in my case, I'm really about these graphics. Like, I love, I wanna say there's a, okay, so you can get like an overview, you can see where they're attacking, and then yeah, press in to switch the mobile suits that are fighting. Look at that. I mean, you gotta admit, these are good graphics for a mobile game that is not a sort of skill-based, mechanically driven video game. This is strictly, strictly an adver game, I'd call it, but it's a well done one. And I don't think this is scummy, this is just a good way to get people to know about Gundam. All right, so I cleared a daily, so there's the challenges, we're used to that stuff, got some coins, I'm sure there's like 12 different currencies, there's an option to rematch, and it has a ticket next to it, and then rematch, and then next. Okay, there's, so there's battle two, but let's go home real quick and kind of take a look at, okay, if you're not battling, what are you doing? Well, let's see, there's a bunch of options, and there's red dots near the options, meaning there's a lot to do, I guess, so gifts... Things I can claim, that's very typical of a mobile game. Achievements, again, things I can claim, okay. I'll have to figure out what all that stuff does later. There's a shop, that's scary, but you know how it is. I wonder if they have a battle pass, I shouldn't ask. After reaching the max player rank, you'll get grand coins based on the AP you consumed. In the exclusive grand coin shop, you can obtain hard to find items, okay. Look at that. Coins, grand coins, haro coins. I like how friends are like a currency. So down at the bottom, it's the settings icon, which is weird, but it's squad. You open that up and, and look at this. So you have different options here. Engage link. And that is red. What? Let's see. More mobile suits of the same record that you collect. The higher the stats of that record's affiliated mobile suits will be raised. I don't, I don't get it. I know she's explaining it to me, though. But it's just like, but why do I care? That's that's the other thing. You can tell me what to do, but why? Okay, squad formation, I think... Yeah, we've looked at this before. This is so I can kind of see... Oh, you can build up different squads. For, I'm liking this. I can have an all-GM squad, probably. Why would I do that? Okay, here's where you can upgrade mobile suit, upgrade character, mobile suit list. Okay, we're kind of getting to what I want to look at. Here we go. Manufacturable MS, so we have a high new right here. How to obtain? Um, rainbow Haro coin, gold Haro coin, silver Haro coin. Owned, required, a uh, blueprint, so you need some blueprints. Looks like you can add in some modules, unless that would say that it has modules on there. Oh yeah, my taps show up, that's cool. Okay, it's cool that I can go in here and, let's see, I thought I got this one. I opened a box that showed, cannot be obtained. Interesting. Um, oh, yeah, there's that. Okay, it's probably better to touch on the side here. A lot of cool stuff in here. Um, 
man all spinning all you see look we thought gbo2 was nuts this is going to f91 and victory and let's see if it adds some of those obscure mobile suits from gbo2 is it a Rizel or what is this one uh yeah Rizel. yeah i like that very cool so that's what they've got so far and character list because this is who you could choose to be your pilot so this is pretty neat now characters owned and available to redeem how to obtain okay fragment quest mobile suit gunham thunderbolt okay so once i get to uh, some certain levels unlocked by playing them i will unlock parts for that yeah it sounds very much like uh any other mobile game all right come out here uh, to look real quick panel missions again some other gamification of getting different parts and things unit assembly free once per day ah oh, there's so many systems use one time use 10 times reminded me of gbo2 but it said free once a day i am not uh ah oh, here we go so you click down hit that um yes let's see what i get Ooh, tap to scan huh let me let me there we go Oh, I got a box. Oh, oh, Gaza C. We just talked about uh, the Gaza line recently on the Gundam Explained Show Live with Steven. Okay, drop rate up, 72-hour limit. Emmett, you know what? I've got 10,000. I will use 3,000 here real quick. Let's see what this is like. All right, let's tap again. I'll just use my finger. Okay. Oh, I got an RX-78 too. Well, it's cool to see the animations. That rainbow one, I will do last, just for fun. Oh, something from Narrative, and it's, oh, Narrative Gundam, look at that. I gotta say, I love the art and the animations. Oh, Marisai, GM, oh, another GM, I could build up my GM squad. Another one, Giridoga, ooh, GM3, GM ground type, oh, power GM, Godzorla? Wow, that, that's one that I don't think I've ever said the name of before. There's something to dive into with Victory. Okay, so does that mean when I tapped one, I opened them all anyway, and I guess the narrative was from that rainbow box? Okay, interesting. All right, let's see. Um, I'm getting close to the end here, but let, let's do another uh, mission just to look at it. This one is called Rabbit Hunt. Again, not much to do here, so I'll just hit begin battle and destroy the enemy ace. Let's do this. I, I love this view, showing Armoro fighting Azaku 1. That's not fair. Or is that Azuta? No, is that... Have the Hades do the uh, uh, special. You know what? It'll be fun when it'll be fun when these get a little more challenging, and then I have to think about what I'm using and what abilities. Because so far, again, like I won and I didn't do much. All right. So you know, thanks all for watching. That was a quick look at. Gundam UC Engage, which you can find in the App Store. I know Android, I don't know about iOS, but I think it's awesome that this game got localized and it came out here. It is an awesome introduction to uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, specifically Universal Century. It, it, it spans all of UC so far, no G Savior, but you know, you never know. Um, I would, if you're a Gundam fan, try it out. Let me know what you think. I would also suggest maybe recommending this game to people that play mobile games because if they're already used to mobile games they might like the production value that comes out of this especially if they want something that's out of their uh, another ip i don't know is there like already lord of the rings harry potter star wars games you know all that type uh, everywhere how, how often do you come across someone just playing a gundam game on mobile so that's a way to do it anyway guys thanks for uh, watching this let me know what you think i'd like to talk about this game more figure out some of the nuances how to maximize the fun out of it but let me know We'll talk later.